Hey guys, I'm here really quick to tell you guys the best and the worst of 2015. These are some products that I use for my face starting with like the brows all the way down the whole deal. But this is also a collaboration with my girl 334 Bama Girl. And yeah, we decided to do this because it was cool. A lot of people right now are going through their best and worst phases of 2015. So I had to hop on that bandwagon and we just decided to. So yeah, I wanna to talk to you guys quickly. I mean like really quickly about these products. And um, yeah, so if you're interested, okay, just so the first thing I'm gonna start with is my brows. And if y'all don't see my wedding ring songs because I always take them off, cause my fingers tend to swell at night. So I like to take all my anyways, rings off. Yeah, so the first thing I wanna talk about is my brows. Now, I have went through everything from like NYX to uh, like Rimmel all the way to Anastasia for my brows. And yeah, I always end up going back to the best, which is this Wet n Wild pencil. It's just a normal little Wet n Wild pencil. It is the color icon and I have it in the color dark brown, which is what is on my brows today. I always end up going back to this product. I really, really, and really, if I had to talk about one that wasn't so good, I'm not gonna say the worst. And again, we have to remember that makeup is subjective. Not everybody's gonna agree with my best and my worst, but this product just didn't really cut it for me. It kind of spread around my brows. And that is going to be the NYX Tame Frame. At one point, I really liked it, but then I realized that it was really just spreading around my brows. I've used quite a bit of it. And um, I don't know, it just, it's not the best. And like I said, pencils for me, they don't move around my brows and I can sharp, resharpen them, which is so important when you're doing your brows. And I really love this one. So this was my best and this was my worst. So back with the next thing after my brows I would do is my eye primer. Like, so I would put on my primer because I do my eyes first and my foundation. I used to do my foundation and all that stuff first, then YouTube happened. <laughs> so my best would be, and this is no surprise to anybody, which is my MAC Painterly. It has a sticker on it because I was supposed to have it um, finished by October 30th. Mm -hmm. And I'm still going strong with it. But yeah, it's almost there. If you can see, I've hit pan quite a bit. I really like this. It really does hold the shadow on. And what it does for me is, instead of just being like a primer and then I need a base, this is a base and a primer. So when you wear this, you don't need a base. When I wear something that's more emollient or if I wear something that's more like my Lorac um, photo finish primer, no, I'm not saying it right. Anything that's like my Lorac behind the scenes, that one is just clear. So when I put it on, it the shadows doesn't pop much and I still need a base. So with this, this is a base and a shadow. And I recently stopped buying MAC products, which is another story. So I'm really gonna cherish this one and hold on to it and use it only when I need it. I don't like now let me get this right i love the nyx jumbo stick like in the stick to me it lasts for a long time it doesn't move around but the nyx eyeshadow base in this round thing right here while it do get my shadows to pop i used this the other day and i was so angry y'all y'all don't hear me when i looked in the mirror it was like 20 30 minutes later all of my eyeshadow had creased and it just looked, oh, I thought I was popping. I went to the nail salon, cause I didn't do my nails this time. I went to the nail salon and I was getting my nails done. And I just thought I was popping. I had my little glitter shadows on. And when I went home and looked in the mirror, oh, I wish I should, I should've took a picture of that. I look like a grease monkey. And I am not oily. And I was just so angry and I said, no, never. So I didn't really want to pick any eyeshadows because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadows and stuff that I was just like, it's too hard to narrow it down. And I really don't have any palettes that I don't like per se. So I, I had to think about it and I was like, well, you know what? The one that I don't ever, ever reach for, like almost never, I've used it twice, is this custom made MAC palette of mine, which has a broken shadow in it already. This custom MAC shadow that I made, I don't know what my thought process was when I picked out all of these colors. It just looks ridiculous. And on top of that, MAC shadows are not all that. I love MAC products. I absolutely adore MAC products. I own mostly all of MAC products. But I mean, they're okay. They're not nothing to write home about. I mean, they're okay. I mean, I just, the main color that I used in this palette was this one, which is this red brick here. 
But other than that, I didn't even reach for this palette ever. I finished it and I don't, I don't. This one took me a long time to think about because I have so many shadows that I used in 2015 and I, I couldn't narrow it down. I was like, let me pick one that I've used all through 2015, like almost all the time. And I have no go-to palette. I go to whatever I feel like grabbing. But the one that I use for like three weeks straight will be this Kat Von D Mi Vida Loga palette. And I'm still using it. I've already dented yeah. in quite a few of these shadows already, especially Harps Accord right here. I've totally dented in this color here because I've used it so much and that's the one that you guys have been seeing in my videos lately and it's that beautiful beautiful frosted uh, auburn burnt orange as far color. as facial primers which is what I do next after I finish my eyeshadows okay so I love the elf mineral infused face primer this stuff is so bomb I love it and I had to dig this out the garbage just now because there's nothing else in here and I had to dig I just dug it out the trash because I have a um, 2015 empties video for you guys and yeah this was my absolute favorite I'm gonna repurchase this again six bucks I think one go. that I got from as far as for the worst the one that I got from my um it was my boxy charm I've been using it because I just want to use it up because it's the easiest size to use up um and i got about maybe about 10 uses left out of it it is the mirabella primer and it comes in this little tube i like it but the problem with this is if you don't let this dry down for a while it will mix in with your foundation and cause like a white cast to come on your face and i just i'm, I'm really not feeling the whole way after hair. primer the next thing that i like to use is my foundation so i have my best the best foundation I have right here is this Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I love this because it's just like a concealer. It is a concealer inside of a foundation. It's so thick. Now, a lot of people don't like it. I'm still, I, I thought I emptied it, but when I got it out the garbage, I was like, wait a minute. There's still a lot of product in here. So I'm still kind of working on it right now. I love this foundation for me is a MAC foundation and the only reason why it's the worst is because I'm dry skin and this formula just does not work for my dry skin and that would be this MAC Pro Longwear that I don't even really want to finish but I have just a little bit left as you can see and um, it's so dry it's just really 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 dry on the face and it sticks to all my dry spots because of the SPF in it, it turns white on me. So I just, no. This okay, is the so worst. as far as concealer and highlighting, concealer, I use my, for the best, is the Better Skin. I have three of these now. This one is empty. I believe this is, yeah, this is the empty one. I just tried to scrape some more out of here this morning and it's, nothing is coming out. It's dry. So yeah, this is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and Corrector with Acetal C and it's oil free. This one is in the color medium deep. I love this stuff. It's like $10, 10 or $12. Kind of pricey because I could get Mac with the Pro Card for that price. <laughs> but um, it works so well. Um, but I use it up quite fast because now that I'm thinking about it, it's 7.5 milliliters. So 0 0.25 fluid ounces. I use this in well, about two months. So didn't last that long, which is kind of good because then I, you know, can get things out of my one collection. One that I don't like is this NARS one. This is a $30 concealer and it's in a color custard and ginger. I broke the top. This thing is just so thick. It's like just absolutely super thick. I don't like it at all. It's, it's just, it's no, it's very thick. It's just pointless. It's it a part to my eyes. I wanted to talk about the best mascara for me that would be this sample of the benefits they're real i actually love this this is a smaller size of it and um i love it it's the rubberized tip it actually gets my lashes down at the bottom to actually show up i'm into the buying little samples of things now my girl tina marie was like i see that you're buying little little things now yes because i want to get things in and out of my collection i'm trying to keep it condensed and if i'm going to try something new that's not a palette i want the smallest one of it the one that i was very disappointed in for the price of this full size this is like a super high-end top shelf uh mascara and i just have the sample size of it uh is the eve saint laurent this is a Yves saint laurent mascara this is what it looks like the tip it's just a standard uh 
furry tip it smells nice um but that's about it it does nothing nothing next things life. i want to talk about and we're winding down to the last things is what i line my eyes with what i've been loving is the rimmel scandal eyes this is the second one this is a repurchase for me um i love it because the tip of it is very fine very very small i lined my eyes with it today and the worst liner i had unfortunately is my wet and wild it, the name has come off and it's a liquid liner now this could be just because i'm not good with liquid liners but the little thing split on me you can't tell but the actual applicator split in half on me it's very black it's very nice it dries down and stays black so i just use it to put on my face my my fake moles so that's what i use that for but this is the worst one for me i just i just so don't next is blush now my favorite blush is the milani blushes i love these blushes not only are they beautiful to look at but they're also very pigmented this one is in romantic rose and i've reached for this after i bought this one i've, I've been reaching for this one all the time because it goes with the lipstick that i'm going to show you in my favorite lipsticks and the worst blush for me will be this <laughs> silky touch essence blush like not only does it have parabens in it um i got it from ulta but it's it's freaking it doesn't it's nothing it's, it's small it's smaller than what it appears to be when um on the actual site and it's it's talky it smells like talc it's just now we're really winding down to the last uh last two categories the things that i have been loving for highlighters are my fergie highlighters i love these even over my becca highlighters i like this um all of all of the fergie ones i have i believe all three now and look at that i mean just absolutely gorgeous just gorgeous just a very gorgeous highlight what i haven't been loving is my heart candy this is more like a big bronzer but to me it's like a highlighter and i'm pretty sure that's what it's meant for and it looks like this because i don't think nobody is this light enough to be bronzing with this and <laughs> it's pretty don't get me wrong but um it's just not my favorite it's just it's just not my favorite um I use it down the bridge of my nose though, works good for that. So this is one that I like, but I haven't been loving since 2015. Now the Mente guys, we are on the last things. Okay, I know y'all about tired of me. But the last things is these lipsticks and a favorite of mine is the MAC Snob. Love it. Oh, uh, you see I've gotten down pretty deep on that one. I haven't had it for over six months. I've only had it for about six months. And that is just this beautiful light baby pink i just love it so much this is like my all-time favorite got it i can't repurchase because i said i'm stop buying mac but i definitely have to find a dupe for this but i love this one it's my favorite color and the worst is one that i used in my tutorial the other day it's this ugh, mac tumble dry now i bought this just for the collection because i wanted it and look at this y'all this is a hot mess this stuff is just like putting on a lip balm. I don't know. It's ugly. It's waxy. It's very waxy. That's how I can describe it. It feels like wax. Look at that. It feels like a lip gloss. Not even a lip gloss. It feels like you guys, chest. That was my favorites of 2015 of all times. I hate to keep showing you guys some of the same products, but if it works, it works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get on off this thing and make sure you go down and check out my girl 3 before Bama Girl. She does all type of stuff on her channel. Everything. I love her. And her name sound like like she gonna beat somebody up. 334 Bama Girl. Like she just really about to get up in there a box with somebody. But but she is so sweet. Like I really do always enjoy her channel. She's always doing DIY. She has a ton of makeup and I just love her personality and her hair is always on point. So go on and check out Bama Girl. I'm here to go check her out because I want to see what she's uh what she talking about for her favorite for 2015 and her worst products. I'm like, ain't y'all always secretly more interested in the worst products? When I see the word worst. Talk to y'all later.